everybody, it's your girl Nia the Video Gamer and I wanted to come on really quickly make another video and first and foremost I just want to say thank you guys so much for the, for the support. I have finally reached 2,000 subscribers. Like I don't really make videos as much as I used to so I'm actually kind of surprised that I finally made it to 2,000 subscribers but I just want to say thanks for the, for the support. I appreciate it greatly you remember that video that i made before when i was saying to you guys that i am trying to control my spending habits because there's so many games coming out that i want so in order to combat that i've been working on games that um i already have that i haven't beaten and i've been working on games that i've played you know in the past games that i've had but you know maybe certain aspects of those games that i haven't really experienced and to those of you guys who checked in on my stream or you saw my latest video about my stream you would know that here lately i've been playing a lot of kid icarus uprising out of nowhere i just decided to pick it back up and play it when i first bought kid icarus uprising you know i played it i beat the story it was awesome i played the online maybe once or twice with friends but I didn't really understand the concept of like the online because I don't know like it was just real crazy for me at that time I don't know what was wrong with me but I just wasn't getting it so you know after that one or two times after playing with friends I'm okay well, forget it you know I'm gonna I'm leave the online alone and just you know stick to the store or whatever I feel like coming back and you know kicking some butt whatever so I finally decided to pick up the online again starting last Thursday actually and I picked up the rules I picked up how you play I don't know what happened between 2012 and Thursday but I've been playing a lot of Kid Icarus Uprising online and you know I've been telling my friends you know like man I've been playing this game I've been enjoying it a whole lot and I can't get enough of this multiplayer like how come I've been sleeping on this multiplayer for two years and you know my friends were all like well you know well since the game has been out for a little while the online has kind of died you know the the um people who play online are either the really really good people that have been playing ever since launch and they've got these huge overpowered weapons or you've got like the newbies that maybe just bought it recently and you know they suck or whatever and um i guess you could consider me one of the newbies but somehow i still managed to place at least you know um, second or third out of six in some in a lot of my matches so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but it's pretty pretty dope <laughs> I'm just trying to try to hang in there yeah that's kind of a new thing and it's probably gonna be like that into this Mario Kart DLC I cannot wait for this Mario Kart DLC y'all understand like this Mario Kart DLC it looks so good and i remember um reading somewhere about people saying that this mario kart dlc looks so much better than like a lot of the tracks in the actual game and that's saying something because i remember when mario kart came out back in may and you know i first laid eyes on the game and i was like this game looks really really good and just looking at the tracks the new tracks the dlc tracks on um like game explain and uh, nintendo's youtube channel those tracks look like they've had a lot of thought put into them like they look really crazy like the zelda stage and the f-zero stage look absolutely insane i cannot wait i cannot wait to to hit the tracks again with my friends on thursday like that is so exciting then of course next week is smash bros i'm not really competitive like a lot of my friends are but you know i love smash bros i like the concept of smash brothers you know, the, the Nintendo history all in one game is pretty amazing. But I usually kind of play like the single player stuff. Like, you know, I'm going to be playing Smash Tour a lot probably. And, um, you know, the event modes and stuff like that. But, man, I'm going to be having a good next couple of weeks, dude. Seriously. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I got to save up some money for PAX South which is going to be happening right in my backyard in Texas this year. It's going to be happening in San Antonio. Well, next year in January. I'm going to try my very best to make it to PAX East, which is going to be a little bit earlier than it was 
this year. This year was in April, next year is gonna be in May. So I wanna try to make it to both of them if, if possible. You know, I gotta book my room. Um, I gotta save up some money so that I have some gas money to travel to San Antonio. Um, and of course, you know, food and, and, and uh, other expenses and stuff like that. But if I can get a handle on my finances uh, to get ready for PAX, I do plan on having a giveaway very soon um, for my 2K sub appreciation thing. You know, it's been a long time since I've done a giveaway on my channel because I've been broke. I'm still broke, but <laughs> you know how that goes. Um, 2K is a, is a good milestone, so I figured why not pick it up at 2K. So I'm thinking I'm going to give away a download code for Kid Icarus Uprising on the eShop. Since I'm enjoying Kid Icarus so much, and since I'm hearing that a lot of people didn't even really have the opportunity to play Kid Icarus, I think I'm going to give it away. I'm going to get it to one of you guys who may not have the game <clears throat> that might want to play it. And, you know, just to show that I appreciate you. Thank you. But that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about today. You know, just kind of give you a, a few brief thoughts about my what's coming up soon and what I'm excited for. So um, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.